Ice baths have become a topic of discussion ever since Wim Hof became a thing, and it feels that recently the trend has picked up traction and everybody's doing it once again. I've never actually done an ice bath, but in this video I'm going to document my experience as well as try to convince some of my friends to do it too. Shoulders are submerged, I'll start the timer. All right, hold on a second. Getting down is the hardest part. Woo! All right. You got this. <sighs> you said- Keep going. It's it's oh. You're fine. You can go as cheap as filling your own bathtub with ice in it, or go as expensive as getting an ice bath that has its own generator chiller that regulates the temperature. Neither of those options appealed to me, but luckily the cool people at IcePod were kind enough to send out one of their pro ice pods for me to test out and share with you my experience. The unique selling point of their product is that it's meant to be portable. I was actually pretty surprised to see the box that it came in because it was very small. The ice bath itself packs up very compactly. It's very simple to set up and takes no more than five minutes. It has two drainage holes in it, which helps you drain out the water when you're done. The top inflatable ring only takes about a minute of hand pumping to get it ready. And it's the perfect size for one person and potentially two people if you really wanted to. The best part is that it comes in very affordable starting at a $120 for the standard model, or you can upgrade to the Pro model for $169. And the main difference you're getting is more insulation on the Pro model, which helps keep your water colder, which in turn helps reduce the cost of buying ice. We're gonna talk more on the cost of ice later in the video. Now to be devil's advocate, I have been using this ice bath for a while and there are a few things that I'm not a big fan of, but I think the feedback could help to make the ice bath better. First off, since it's advertised as being portable, I was surprised to see that there was no portable bag to carry the whole ice bath in. There was a small bag for the hand pump and hose, but nothing for the actual ice bath itself. I feel like that was a miss there and something easy they can incorporate in their future models. Second issue was the hand pump that I received was very cheap and flimsy and fell apart every time I tried to use it. It was still usable, but I would literally have to hold it together to get it to work. Now I did reach out to them about that and they said they were sending a new one, so hopefully that one works out better. The third gripe I have is about their hose attachment, which lets you drain the ice bath into maybe a shower. It's a great idea and I use it all the time. The only issue I have is that the hose itself is very flimsy and also made of a cheaper material and I feel that one small nick in it could cause a flood or something. Fourth issue I have is with the Pro model because it's advertised to keep the water insulated for at least another 24 hours but in my experience after maybe 10 hours the water that I kept in it already dropped 10 degrees the next morning. This is the Pro model so hopefully this keeps it insulated to tomorrow morning but I don't think it should be doing all of this stuff. We're gonna check back in tomorrow morning to see if it's still 40 degrees. All right, and it is now the next morning. It is about 7 a.m. And see if there's ice in here. Oh man. Well, well it's still cold. There's some cubes. Okay, so it's about 44 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Does the pro version do well of keeping the cold insulated? It's only been about 10 hours. It went up five degrees, four degrees. It's not bad. It's not the best, but it'll do. So I'm not sure if I actually got the Pro model because it didn't seem like there was a distinction between the two on the website. But I was a little disappointed to see that the water temperature did not stay the same in the next 10 hours. And I get it, that's asking a lot, but if you're advertising that it should do something, I would expect it to do it. Overall, I think this ice pod is a great entry into the ice bath cold plunge market. The price is great. And if you use my link down below, you'll save even more money off your first purchase. Also side note, I think they're about to launch a generator or chiller for their ice bath, which could change the whole game completely because that would mean the water is going to stay the same temperature for as long as you want. Now that we have the tub up and running, it's time to do our first ice bath. Ice bath benefits can include elevated energy, performance recovery, immune support, pain relief, stress reduction, better sleep, and just feeling happier. Now this may all sound too good to be true, but my viewpoint is try it out for yourself, see how you feel, and then you'll know if it works for you or if it doesn't work at all. So after trying these ice baths for a few days, I was hooked, I'm sold, I love it, and now I need to share this experience with my friends. So let's try to convince some friends to do an ice bath. So Mar, why are you so interested in doing an ice bath? Because I'm excited for the after effects and I also love the adrenaline rush from doing this kind of stuff, so I uh, can't wait. What are your thoughts if we did an ice bath? Let's do it. All right, I need to know how you're feeling right now. Not good. Not good, okay, nervous. <laughs> Never done ice baths before, right? No. Do you do cold showers? Yeah. 
Oh. I don't think it's as cold as the ice bath. No, no, definitely not. And cold showers are pretty miserable, so. It was awesome to see my friends try it for their first time and getting their reactions were priceless. However, I started to notice an issue. The problem was I was doing this too much and I was getting very comfortable with the temperature. You see, I've only been able to create the ice myself through my freezer, which doesn't have an ice maker. It would take literally a day to make all this ice and then dump it into the ice bath. And with all that hard work, I was only able to get the water temperature temperature to 50 degrees. Now, a lot of articles do say that 50 to 59 degrees Fahrenheit is a good temperature to start out with ice baths. But after doing it for a bit now, I've gotten too comfortable and it's not really giving me the excitement that I had before. So there's only one more thing I could do. Luckily, there was a beer distributor right down the block who sold ice in bulk for about $7 per 20 pounds. Me and my friends decided to go in on it and do 80 pounds of ice for about $28. We were splitting this between three people, so it came out to $9 a person. Still waiting on that memo request, Orion. So, uh, it's been 24 hours, got my money. After dumping the 80 pounds of ice that we just bought, as well as some of the pre-made ice that I had in my freezer, I would say we hit about 90 pounds of ice. The water that we put into the tub came out to around 55 degrees from the coldest temperature of my shower. It took about another 10 to 15 minutes of letting the ice sit in there before we saw the temperature drop down to something we were excited for. We were able to get it to about 39 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the coldest that any of us has ever been. In. 48 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius. Also, pro tip, the bigger the ice cube, the longer it takes for it to disperse and cool your water. And now with our temperature down, it's time to do our cold plunge. Go in. I'm gonna set the timer as soon as my shoulders are And start. Oh, you're doing well. Are you breathing? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not. You're doing good. My neck is cold. I can feel my hands going numb. You can get hypothermia above 32 degrees. You shivering yet? It just gets cold. <laughs> it's the neck for me. Really? Because I feel like my neck's never this cold. Oh, my toes are gone. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe you should get mm -hmm. Oh, six. <sighs> All right, six yeah. minutes. Are you sure? I can see. Oh. I'm not blind. I'm just cold. And I rise. Oh. How pink am I? I will think. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oof. We did it. I'll be honest, I thought I was gonna be in more of a shock when I did this because a 10 degree difference may not sound like a lot, but it is. Next is my friend Mari, who's a bit of a psychopath and oddly very, very shredded. Ready when you are. <laughs> Once your neck goes down, I'll start the timer. Okay, we're starting. It's definitely worse. Fast. Okay, then I not dessert Can you play some motivation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you put yeah. on the siege, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been a minute? My hands are starting to hurt. You have officially done four minutes. Do you want to keep coming out? Okay. And four minutes is done. Look at that pinkness. She did mention in the beginning that she had a bit more of a struggle with it when there wasn't any music playing, but once we played her requested songs, she got in the zone and was able to handle the cold much, much better. So pro tip, get yourself in a comfortable zone or whatever environment you need to handle this cold. Then we had Orion, who has never ever done an ice bath before. Orion's actually a gymnast and in great shape, so I had pretty high hopes for him. So just get down to the neck as soon as possible because it won't get better. Don't even think about it. Yep, remember to breathe. Good. Good. Yep. Shoulders. Yep. You can even go deeper. Try to get to the neck. Lean back. Nice. Nice. You're doing good, man. Don't look at the wash. You're doing good job. I'll give you a heads up when you hit two minutes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Okay. It was a little bit too much for my hair skin. Okay, I'm glad we got you in there. Yeah. You're looking pretty pink. <sighs> <It hurts. laughs> yeah, he pink. I 
Holy wow. fuck, that was, bro. That was like barely a minute. I don't know how oh, I would have done my first time doing it What's the temp at? Let's let's take a look. We're now 38. So what have I learned after doing this little ice bath experiment? Are all the benefits true? Does it actually work? I'm going to say yes. Kind of. Hear me out. So when I was doing these ice baths in the beginning consistently every day, I will say that I felt great afterwards in a better mood, livelier, more energy, yes. Did my muscles feel any less sore after workouts? No, but I kind of really wasn't expecting them to. The way I view these ice baths is that if you can do something so simple as to literally just dunking yourself in some cold water and it makes you feel better and potentially provides all of these beneficial results, then why not do it? it? It seems too good to be true. Your body is naturally producing these endorphins and making you feel good after something as so simple as jumping into cold water. I look at it as a natural way to get a high in the most healthy sense. Because after you do one, you are always in a better mood than when you started. No, I felt really good. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a lot better. Going in, I was so scared. That yeah. was like the worst. I could do it again. Next Next time we're going cold. Oh, you're cold. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I would honestly recommend people doing this. This feels really good. I feel kind of relaxed in a weird way. I feel really good. My muscles feel like energized. What's okay. going on here though? You're just very <laughs> cool. Are there downsides to this? Potentially, yes. I'd probably consult with a doctor or your physician before you start doing something like this, especially when you get to the colder temperatures. I did notice that when I first started, the longer I stayed in, I would actually get shivers post ice bath in the next hour. There is also a huge risk of potentially flooding your apartment if you decide to do these inside. I wouldn't know, but I just wanted to mention that. Your ice and water bill could add up because this can get expensive after a while if you're just using ice. Ideally, the way I see it is you want to do this with as little resistance as possible in your daily life. The easiest way I see that is by doing cold showers every morning. That's literally the path of least resistance. You don't have to get an ice bath. You don't have to do all that, but that's a great way to get into this. And after that, you can look into getting the actual tubs or even the cold plunge. So hopefully this video helped out anyone looking to get into ice baths. Use my code down below to save some money off your first ice pod and check out this video here about another product review I made. Peace.